find a stray animal, the best thing to do is call 311, but not all animals will meet the high priority criteria. Calls for the animal in danger, the calls for um, a standards of care if a dog is out in the heat or in the street, a dog that it could be in danger, a sick, a sick dog, or any aggressive animals that are out there. It's important to give 311 as much information about the animal as possible. Make sure that they know that the animal's in danger. Make sure that you state things like that so that based on the, this operational change, they will dispatch. But if all else fails and you are willing to hold on to a healthy and friendly animal, you need to fill out a found report on the El Paso Animal Services website. What we'll do is reach out to them if they're willing to keep the animal, then we'll help them. We'll provide food and vaccines and things like that so that they can keep the animals so that it doesn't end up at the shelter. El Paso Animal Services tells me that in the month of June they took in over 600 animals but the reason why they're asking the community for help is because they are trying to reduce the person-to-person -person contact here inside the shelter. But some El Pasoans believe all animals should be considered high priority. We are in triple digit heat and not only are these animals suffering but they also pose a danger to our community. Saying he believes El Paso Animal Services is an essential business and should not be put on hold. And our city leaders need to step up, increase the budget, uh, make sure that there's manpower at El Paso Animal Services so that these animals do have a place to go. El Paso Animal Services says since March, thousands of people in the community have helped by taking in stray animals.